Boys. I'm your host, the TNT Muffin. Today we're going to be talking about some insane movie news, Funko, YouTube's, Hex, and more. Now starting off with the movie news, like I said, we've got some insane stuff here starting off with an actual FNAF location. I have been saying for years that since the FNAF movie is being made by Blumhouse, who is under Universal Studios, they should totally make some type of FNAF pizzeria at Universal. Now we didn't get exactly that, but we did get something pretty similar because we got this Freddy Fazbear's Pizza building. Now this isn't in Universal Studios, but it's very close by at Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood Wood, and it's basically this building which has the giant Freddy Fazbear's Pizza sign, it's got the checkerboard padding at the top and the bottom, and then it's got these paintings on the wall with silhouettes of the FNAF animatronics and words saying quotes from the games like where fantasy and fun come to life. This was made very recently and I was actually lucky enough to be in LA right when it finished being built. So I actually did get some pictures in front of it and some videos, which I'm showing while I'm talking. So yeah, you can kind of just go there. If you're in the LA area, you can just drive over to that place and see a Freddy Fazbear's Pizza building. It's not something you can actually go inside of or buy anything from. It is just a really cool display for advertisement. But if you're a FNAF fan, it's amazing to see. Like I said, sadly, you can't actually go there and buy pizza, although you can buy Freddy Fazbear's Pizza somewhere else because apparently at select movie theaters, if you buy a large drink, you can spend an extra $5 to get a FNAF pizza. As far as we know right now, it's only at metropolitan theaters, which seem like only exist in California, Utah, and Colorado, which is pretty unfortunate, but it's still cool that it's happening. So yeah, you can get a FNAF themed pizza. It's in a pizza box that has the checkerboard pattern and it says fresh oven baked Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place, which is so cool. As far as we know, it's only at those theaters, but hopefully it ends up being a thing that's more widespread because I'm sure FNAF fans around the world would love to have this. And I wanna make it clear, it says it's only gonna be happening October 13th to October 27th, which is the release date of the FNAF movie. So if you wanna eat FNAF pizza while watching the FNAF movie, you're gonna to have to do it on opening night. And speaking of which, FNAF movie tickets are now on sale. So if you wanna get there opening night, I would recommend getting tickets as early as possible before they sell out. Popping in here because now we know of another thing that you can purchase for the FNAF movie in theaters, which is a collectible cup. We got this TikTok where a Cinemax employee is showing off some of the Five Nights at Freddy's collectible cups. There's this one. One, which is going to be all the characters like the movie poster and then they're going to be these other ones which just have the individual characters you know freddy foxy chica and bonnie this was on a spanish account these are actually cups for a theater in mexico but this type of collectible cup is pretty common in theaters it's usually at most of them so i do assume that these will be in most theaters and now that we know of this cup i think it's safe to assume that we're also going to be getting a little popcorn bucket with a similar design on it because that's usually what happens and and I am hoping that there are also some more interesting collectible things because a lot of movies recently have been getting some really cool popcorn buckets, like this one for Scream and this one for Saw. They just are heads of the characters, and I think it would be really cool to get one like that for FNAF. And we also have a lot more news on the FNAF movie itself because we have actually gotten a bunch of previews for it. There are a few small new clips, but the thing that's most important is that there was this thing that they put out which has an image showing a FNAF newspaper with a phone number on it. And if you text this phone number, you can pretend to apply for a job as the security guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. They reply to you, ask you a few questions. They send you this training tape which is really cool. It's basically a training tape for if you were working at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and they actually show us an endoskeleton for one of the animatronics. This is our first up close look at the endoskeleton, and man, it looks so good. It looks exactly like the ones in the game. Jim Henson's Creature Shop did an amazing job with them. Yeah, and then if you keep texting them, they eventually ask you to send an image of yourself, and then they say that you're hired and send an image of like a FNAF worker badge with your picture in it and your name and that's a pretty cool way to advertise the movie. Getting close to the movie, they're going all out with advertisements for it. We got a building, we got the pizza, we got this cool text message thing, I saw a billboard, there's a lot of cool stuff that they're doing, 
and it just gets me even more excited to see what the movie is going to be like. I cannot wait for when they make the second movie and do all this stuff again. Now moving on from the movie, we've got a bunch of merch news, starting off with U2's, they revealed this Haunted Freddy figure. We got a look at the Haunted Golden Freddy figure before, and now we get a look at not only the art for the Haunted Freddy figure, but also the figure itself. We can see it's going to be the Freddy U2's figure, except it's in a different pose. And it actually has this spirit of one of the crying childs popping out of him, which is transparent. I think it looks very cool, and this is our first time, I believe, having any transparent pieces on a U2's FNAF figure, so that's pretty interesting. We did hear that these figures were going to have some type of special gimmick that's never been done with FNAF figures. I don't know if it's just it being transparent, because I feel like... That's not that cool of a thing. Like, although it is a very cool thing, I think it is a very cool figure. I feel like that's not something special that they would say. There's got to be something more to it, I assume. If not, I still think it looks really cool, and I am curious to see what the rest of the figures look like. Not only that, but YouTube has also revealed the Haunted Chica figure. As you can see, just like the Freddy figure, this is just the normal Chica figure, but in a different pose and with a crying child spirit on top of its head. Looks pretty good, but there's not too much to say about it. Although there is a lot to say about this other Chica figure. u has revealed the art for their ruined Chica figure. As you can see here, it's ruined Chica. She's got a bunch of withering on her, that weird gooey stuff coming out of the mouth, and she's holding a broken guitar. I think this looks like a really cool figure. She's very broken. She's got wires hanging out, and the face is like completely broken in half. I think this is a pretty cool looking figure, and I'm very curious to see how they do the others. I'm mostly curious about Ruin Monty, because he doesn't have a bottom half. And they also revealed another Ruin figure, one that we've already had concept art of before, but now we get to see a 3D model of the Mimic. The Mimic! I think this figure looks very good. It's very accurate to what the Mimic looks like in-game. He's got so much detailing on him. He's got that weird thing on his cheek. He's got the cloth hanging off from him which from the side view looks like an emo haircut. He's got loads of wires hanging off. The endoskeleton is just really detailed. I think this is a really cool figure and definitely a good piece of merch to be having of the first merch for the Mimic. Speaking of figures, Funko just revealed their new line of Snaps figures, which includes the Staffbot, Helpy, and Roxanne Wolf. So this is actually our first piece of Staffbot merch, which is really cool, and I honestly think it looks really good. You can see that his second faceplate is going to be the broken version of the Staffbot, and I think that's pretty cool. There's also the Helpy Snap figure, like I mentioned before. You can see he's holding a balloon, like from that mini game in Pizza Sim. And he's also got a second face, which seems to be him just like with his eyes closed and mouth open. And then there's Roxanne Wolf, which is her holding the keytar, and then her second face plate is her being a little bit broken. I think all of these look really good. They all look really accurate to the actual characters in game. And I'm definitely going to be getting them. I can't exactly remember if any of these come with sets or if there are any other figures in this wave that come with sets, but we'll have to wait and see. Another piece of merch news is that Hex has just revealed their full withered Freddy plush. So as you can see, it's Withered Freddy. He's got his teeth. He's got withering all over him. He's got wires coming out and he's holding a microphone. I think it looks pretty good. I will say so far, it kind of just looks like regular Freddy. There's not too much making it stand out, but it does look pretty good. I'm not really sure what more they could change. Maybe make his mouth a little bit more open, showing the teeth more or maybe do something special with the eyes. And I believe now they have revealed all of the Withered Hex plushies, so I assume those are gonna be coming out somewhat soon. And speaking of Freddy plushies, Pillow Pets has just revealed their new Jumbo Freddy Pillow Pet. It's the same as the original one, except this one apparently opens up to be 30 inches long, and it costs $90. I think that sounds pretty cool, having a really big Freddy Pillow Pet. I will say $90 seems like a lot of money. I don't think I'm gonna get it but it does seem pretty cool. Since they are making more FNAF stuff, it seems I am curious that they're gonna make more characters in the future, cause you know, now we've got regular Freddy and Jumbo Freddy, Maybe next they'll make, like, Bonnie or somebody. But that's all the news we have today. If you want to subscribe, you can click the button on top of my head. If you want to watch one of my last news videos, you can click that button over there. And if you want to see some other video I made, click that button over there. And I'll see you when we get some more news on the FNAF movie.